Not a bad little morning this morning. Um, much lighter breezes than forecast, really. It was supposed to be something happening from the southeast, but we got a few huffs and puffs in from the west, maybe southwest, but overall it wasn't too bad. So we've been out for a few trips and just hooning around the place for this one. Um, the HD camera, yeah, with this setup with the two, 2200 up the front, um, just gets too wet. So if I want to do some video, I think it's going to be the 1300s for the video trip. Outside of that, it's all good. Um, I think the four-bladed prop might be over-propping the motor just a wee bit. But I'll wait till we get to Beechworth before I sort that out and just compare notes with Chase. Nonetheless, it moves along pretty well. Um, it's, yeah, about one third th throttle is quite fast enough. That's roughly where we are here now. And it can go faster, but it's um, <laughs> kind of asking for trouble, really. A few uh, fishes and turtles and things popping their noses up this morning. Only a couple of ducks dropped in, which is unusual. There's usually quite a population of ducks and things here, but um, nobody in today. But the water on this trip is um, quite smooth. The only sort of thing ruffling the surface of the water is me, really. So I decided for this trip I'd be just zinging around near to the shoreline as I dare. Keeping an eye on the voltage because um, that was something that just pulled its head in. Um, because yeah, on this ESC it would appear that it gets down to about 11.1 .1 and then just dies. I think it's probably the voltage cut off. Got enough juice to get back to shore, and by the time you've got the battery uh, the battery ready to come out, um, the voltage is often up to 11.5 again. So I have to conclude that it's the um, the ESC that's doing it. Just seems a strange way of um, recording the voltage, but I'm not sure how this gadget records the yeah you know, where it gets the information from, how it does it. So. We shall just have to be aware that it will do that and live with it. Now, is that we work there on the right-hand side? Keep an eye on that. Even so, at... Um, a pretty good pace. We're still getting about 15 minutes out of it, so that's not too bad. And certainly handles the breeze much better with the extra oomph. It certainly generates more power than the two-bladed prop, that's for sure. Don't have much room between this boy here and the shore. Probably just over a metre. So there's a couple of sticks in the water up ahead. I think this pass I actually managed to get through between them. Not this one. (laughs) 
I assume those sticks are left here by fisher folk. There's um, there's a few carp in here. I saw another big fella this morning. Just lazy swimming along. Like he owned the place, probably does. It's really looking out for that rock in this ripple. There it is. Yep, no worries. Don't get too clever this pass. And it was doing this all morning. It was quite smooth one minute and then it'd get a puff of breeze and get all ripply and it was good. I actually like a little ripple on the water. It um, gives you a better sensation of speed. Here we go this time, I think. Yep. So now we'll chuck a big Yui and head back up that shoreline again around the buoy. Looking for it. Whoops, there it is. <laughs> oh dear. So I'd taken the goggles off to see if it was... Up. I expected to see it upside down and I was surprised to see it right side up. So I gave the throttle a blip, the motor started, looked in the goggles, I had a picture, so I drove it back. Picked it up, but unfortunately the ESC decided to quit before I could unplug the battery completely. Still, we live and learn. <laughs>